So Java Blue is literally one of our favorite places to eat now. Um, I'm going to try the chicken pot pie tonight here at Java Blue, and I'm gonna report out to you whether or not this delicious looking pot pie is worth it. I have a feeling it's going to be. Stick around. Okay, so cutting into it, let's, ooh, did you hear that crisp? Probably not. It is crispy, and it is jam-packed. No air pockets, anything like that. It is jam-packed with goodness. It looks like there's some peppers, tons of chicken. Oh, it smells like a chicken taco. It smells like a chicken soft taco, actually. Mm, it smells really good. Nope, not gonna try that quite yet. It is hot. So that would be my warning. The chicken pot pie is a scalding lava cake. Huh. I thought that was a pepper. I think it might be an olive. I think there's an olive. I think there are olives in the chicken pot pie. I was not expecting that. Um, other than that surprise, the crust, the crust is beautiful. I mean, I don't know if you can see this. It's flaky. It's, it like makes a lovely little crispy sound when you cut into it. The olive flavor, I'm certain that's what it's gotta be. Really threw me off. Let's try it without the olive and just the chicken. Good flavor. Like last week though, uh, what's missing is it just a little bit more sauce. It's kind of a dry, the, the flakiness of this, really good. Almost like a pasty. If you are familiar with Finnish pasties. Um, great texture, great flavor. Just a touch on the dry side. Could use like a marinara or some sort of dipping sauce. But that is, the pot pie. I'm pretty sure we've tried almost every sandwich with the exception of the turkey sandwich. And there's a new one this week, a ham and pepperoni and salami type sandwich. I'll get that one tomorrow and share my thoughts. And hopefully my eye is looking a little bit better. It turns out I got something in it and it's all red and swollen. So we got some sunglasses on. We'll see you later. Bye.